So this video is about um, representation theory and we are still on the, the chapter of group uh, representation. Okay, so I'm going to introduce here the concept of a sub-representation. So let phi taking us from the group G to the general linear group V be a representation. If uh, W is a subspace, uh, a vector subspace of V, so if W subspace, sub, uh, subspace of this vector space, so if W is a G invariant subspace, please check a, one of the previous videos for the concept of G invariant. So if this subspace is a G invariant subspace, we may restrict the map the, the mapping phi to obtain a representation. So phi we restrict it to W, so phi will be limited to the subspace here, where this one will take us from G to the general linear group, but this time not to the vector space, but to the subspace, okay, uh, by setting, and we will do it in this way, so phi restricted to W will, um, on G, G in the group G, W will be phi of G W for all W in the um, subspace. Now we know that W, the subspace, is G invariant. So we know, since uh, W is G invariant, we know that phi G of W will be in the subspace. Okay, so it is this, and it is to this phi restricted to W that we say it is a sub representation of phi. So using a non uh, representation, one representation that we know. Uh, and using a G invariant subspace, um, we can build with this phi, restricting phi to W, we can build another representation or what we call a sub representation of this representation. If we have V1 and V2, two subspaces of a, a vector space. And we know that V1 and V2 are subspaces of the vector space and they are both G invariant. Okay, so we can do V, the vector space, as a direct sum of V1 uh, direct sum V2. So if this happens it is um, easy to show that phi is uh, equivalent, please check the previous video for the equivalence between uh, representations, it is uh, um, equivalent to the to the direct sum of this uh, to uh, sub uh, restricted to. So phi is equivalent to the direct sum of the two uh, sub representations. And if you want to see this in terms of, of matrices is um, really easy. So you have uh, so phi of phi will be equal to phi restricted to the to the subspace vi right 
and now what we what we do is we choose uh, basis one and basis two of course one for v1 and the other for v2 respectively um, and you know just follow the definition of direct sum that the basis will be the union of both bases okay so b1 uh, union b2 will be a basis for the um, the vector space and do not forget that vi is g invariant right we are talking about uh, sub subspaces that are g invariant so we have so phi g of bi or b1 b2 b3 will be a subset of the vector spaces and each one will be in the gene variant subspace and that is equal to the complex times the, the basis. So uh, in matrix form it's really easy to write this. So in matrix form it will be really easy so we do phi of g in a matrix but under a, a given basis right so you just write it you can check the previous videos for this as a block matrix okay where this first sub representation will be written it, it will be a, ma a, a matrix so it is a block matrix here will be a matrix be uh, written with the basis b1 0 0 and here the second sub representation written uh, with the basis b2 okay so uh, this will be written in so this is the a matrix form okay and phi is equivalent to the direct sum of these two um, sub representations.